Hi, I'm James. And I'm John, and we're from SMG, and we've got a special guest, or two guests, here with us today. James, who have we got here? We've got Dr. Kirsten Makaitis here from Table Adelaide, and she is a part of the Youth Work Department. And we're so excited and intrigued to learn so much from her today. We're focusing on cloud all week, and she's got something to bring to us. Uh, learning a bit about SAD, is that right? Yeah, mm. yeah. thought we'd talk about SAD today. Because when you think about, sometimes when you think about feelings, sometimes maybe a colour comes to mind, or um, I don't know, a sound, or you know, sometimes we visualise something along with an emotion. Mm. And sometimes when I think about the, the notion of being sad, the idea of being sad, it's kind of like, James, if you want to blow it, have you got, <gasps> you've got, got a balloon, blue balloon. It's our sad yes. balloon, it's blue. Yes. And it's our blue balloon. Here we go, do you want to yeah, blow yeah, it we'll up? Blow up. Yep. Just, just not too big, but like, just blowing up. And maybe you, you, you're hoping for something and you're thinking about something and you're excited about something and maybe it's going to happen this week, but then it doesn't happen. Hmm. And the air goes out. We become sad. Yeah. It's like, the, if we can imagine sad being a balloon that had air in it and doesn't have it anymore, that's kind of how I think about being sad sometimes. Yeah. Because we wanted something beautiful to happen. We wanted a big balloon that we could play keepy up with or decorate the room for our birthday. Um, but then the air goes out and then we're left with a feeling of, oh. Yeah. Um, and sometimes I think one of the best things to do when we're sad is just to say that we're sad. Mm -hmm. right. And not necessarily just that we're sad, but we're sad because we hope that something was going to happen, it didn't happen, mm -hmm. or that um, someone that we love is in pain. You know, we can name the thing that we wanted, and now we're back to this kind of like empty balloon. Mm -hmm. We're feeling a little bit despondent and sad and and down. And sometimes I think the best ways is just to just to name that so maybe we don't feel so alone in that moment. Kirsten, a word that comes to my mind is actually deflated. Yeah. Whether you've felt deflated before, you were really hoping for something and what you're saying is sometimes in life <laughs> it does actually go away and then we become really deflated like this balloon. Thank you so much. Was there something else that you had for us to share? Did you have a story or was that kind of what you were hoping to I was share? I was just kind of thinking about that I mean you know even if you think about all the kids maybe you've had your birthday so, um, or your birthday's coming up and you're thinking about having your birthday party mm. um, I know my daughter she was four and she was talking about her birthday party since last year mm. um, and maybe you're having these ideas about celebrating and being with your friends and it's not happening anymore mm. and 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 that's okay because birthday parties are fun mm. and we're supposed to celebrate and feel good about that and so when things are different to what we wanted mm. that leaves us feeling sad so it is okay if you're feeling sad if you if you feel um, sad about how the world is going how um things are at home and, and to name that is one mm. of the most powerful things we can do I think that's really important, Dr. Kirsten, and thank you so much for sharing with us because this is what Cloud teaches us, that there are no good or bad emotions, that being sad is actually okay. And if we're feeling a little bit disappointed or deflated because something that we were really excited about doesn't happen, by talking about it with those around us, with the people that we love and trust, can make us feel a whole lot better. It can help to understand when other people are feeling sad too. So so Thank you so much for sharing with us. Thanks for being here and uh, exploring what it means to be sad. We'll see you soon. See you.